Hi guys, today I will let you show how can we deploy any Django project into our cPanel. So let's start. This is our cPanel. In this cPanel, we will deploy our this project. This project mainly a construction and book shopping related project. Here anyone can buy book easily and uh, view the construction related uh, working okay no. so we will follow some step for deploying this project into our cpanel first step is in our cpanel at first we will find set up python app in the software section and when we find the setup python app then we will press the setup python app option okay In our setup python app section, there has no web application. First step to create a web application here. Okay, for this reasons, just click the create applications option. Okay. Uh, right now, we will fill up this application options step by step. At first, we will choose a python version for our Django project suppose you have written your django project in python 3.9 or 3.8 or 3.7 version and uh, according to your python version you will put here the python version okay my project uh, was written with python 3.7 so i put here 3.7 here you need to put application root my application root is mscbt so you can give any application root here or uh, as your mind uh, at first i give here application root it mscbt and you can choose a application url my application url is mscbt.com this is the main domain and if you have uh, different subdomain then you can choose here or uh, the uh, subdomain and in your subdomain you can easily uh, put the django project okay uh, right now i will put my django project in the main domain so i choose main domain here need to uh, application startup file and application inter file uh, we don't need to put here application inter file uh, application startup file application entry file it's automatically fill up right now we will uh, press the create button okay just press the create button and wait some moments okay you have seen how my uh, web version of my virtual environment and uh, primary setup is complete right now we will uh, open this uh, domain so for this reason just click the open button then you will show, show the python it works python 3.7.1.2 uh, as my python version that uh, we have chosen here okay our primary setup is done sometimes you will get some error in this section then you will uh, contact with your provider uh, mainly some errors uh, occur here due to the ssl commerce ssl connection or another okay our primary connection primary setup is done right now we will see our file manager so for this reasons uh, we will click here and open the new tab this is our new tab and in our file manager section this is our file manager section we will open this file manager section in our file manager section we will find uh, and our created uh, name or, or application root our application root is mscbd so we will find uh, our application root this is our application root mainly mscbt here you will find some uh, file such as uh, passengers osg.py and stardar.log and 
right now we need to follow some steps to set up our uh, Django project for deploying this so for this reasons uh, actually I have I will deploy this project into the C panel uh, so right now I will set up the this project uh, for deploying the uh, C panel so here I also follow some steps kindly uh, give your attention and follow these steps first step is to create this requirements.txt file okay uh, for creating the requirements.txt file follow these steps just press this uh, or write this uh, pfreeze requirements.txt in your terminal okay uh, when you press this pfreeze requirements.txt then automatically create this requirements.txt file and in your txt file then you will see some packages with the version that have you used in your django project okay second step is to collect the statics file from the Django origin here already we have collected this statics file so for collecting the statics file just follow the next step uh, that is uh, one minute python manage.py collect statics these uh, steps I will uh, give this command in my uh, video descriptions just uh, copy the command and press on your terminal then automatically uh, it will work don't worry okay uh, second step is python manage.py collect statics for collecting the uh, statics file third step is uh, to zip this project uh, for zipping this project uh, just press the right button and and um, go to the option winrar and um, just zip the project here already we have zipped the uh, project the mscbd dot uh, zip right now we will upload the zip file into our main and folder or uh, cpanel folder we have created this uh, cpanels folder or uh, when we created the um, python app okay this is our uh, cpanel folder uh, i have shown you before here we will upload our main project for uploading uh, the main project uh, just press this upload option okay and select the file option and choose the folder that uh, sorry person running project uh, mscbd.com uh, mscbd okay uh, it's nears a few times as your internet connection kindly wait some minutes okay our gif uh, file uploaded completed right now we will back so for this uh, go back to home okay right now we will extract the mscbd.zip file for this just press the right button and extract the zip file here okay I have extracted uh, the zip file here. Right now, uh, we will move this file into our main project, uh, main folder. Our uh, main folder name was MSCVD, and this is our main folder. And uh, right now, we will move all file into our main folder. Just select. Okay, we can delete this as OSG file. In our OSG file, already we have written the command previous. And uh, okay, we can delete this OSG file from here. Confirm the delete. And in the back, we also note start our log and we also delete this start our log file okay and this is our right now we will move into our main folder so choose this
Tectones.com. Okay. And uh, press the right button. On and play, oh, press the move option and uh, Take delete the these options. Off. Okay, and move the folder. Okay, uh, right now, if you see the MSC BDA oh, file, then we will uh, show all, all folders is moved here. Okay, uh, right now, we will change the passengers OSG.py file actually previous uh, we will see it was python 3.7.12 this uh, was written in our passengers.usg file if we open the passengers.usg file in our edit option okay and here you will show the python and system python version now we will delete this option and just um, right here uh, from our project name suppose your project name something and, and write here your project name dot usg import application and save okay uh, right now we will save here and go to again our uh, app section uh, in our app section here our uh, setup python app section and this is our main app okay go here and here you will uh, see how uh, internal server URL. right now we will solve this as uh, yes, a uh, problem okay no matter and here edit option and after uh, here restart okay again open here and uh, again you will find this right now uh, actually we need to install all, all packages in our project so for this uh, uh, just uh, copy the requirements.txt file and right now we will uh, install all packages so for this region on uh, here you will find uh, configuration files so here you will add the requirements.txt file okay press the add button and press the pf install option here when you press the pip install option then automatically install all packages into your virtual environment that was created when you create a python app in your project okay right now we need wait some moments for installing the modules okay uh, when we add the require when we add the requirements.txt file and right now we will install this so just select and install uh, here you have seen how uh, pip install successfully right now we will restart our project and open it again Oh, good so our project is open successfully right now we need to set up here yeah, this is our main project and uh, if we press the login option here we will see our login option card sections and other sections right now we want to log in here okay uh, we have logged in here uh, right now we will uh, go our admin panel go to our admin panel this is our admin panel okay uh, that's uh, interesting uh, but uh, sometimes uh, you can and uh, for you can fall here uh, hosting error uh, for this uh, solving this uh, yes just uh, open the settings.py file and open your settings.py file and uh, here just put the allowed host uh, asterisk science means i have given the permission of all allowed host and you can choose here a specific host such as mscbd.com or something but you need to choose here and you need to set here uh, otherwise uh, you can fall in 
an e road okay uh right now that is okay no okay if you fail if you fall any uh, issues uh, or if you face any issues you can comment me and i will try to give you appropriate solution for deploying your python django project into your cpanel uh so uh, uh, and also you uh, you follow some errors in your http uh, or in your or uh, if you visit our public html if uh, sometimes you follow some errors due to st access uh, file but if you follow the steps uh, as i follow uh, then i guess without any issues you can deploy your project into your cpanel so today uh, right now i need to break uh, so thank you so much uh, Prepare further we will show another interesting topic uh, and we will discuss uh, so if you are newcomer in my channel then kindly subscribe my channel and share my video to your friends uh, thank you Thank <laughs> you.